Here's a question. Do you think Americans can switch off fossil fuels in a way that most people are happy about? No one touches little Mike. Mike, give her the bear. Oh no! Here's another question. Do you yourself have a plan for switching off fossil fuels that you are happy about? Let's be candid. We're not going to switch off fossil fuels if we can't come up with a plan that a lot of people like. So please stop crying right now. Good, right good, now. Sully. Ooh, Keep it up. You're doing great. Let me bear. He has no... Ah! Ah! Don't you just be a... Is there a process for coming up with such a plan? <laughs> what was that? I have no idea. I've been reading Creativity Inc. about the Pixar process for turning an idea into a hit movie. There's a parallel between making a hit movie and coming up with a zero carbon game plan that everyone actually wants to carry out. What this book says is that great movies don't just happen. It's an intense process. And in fact, all movies suck at the beginning. That in fact, what we're working on when I, we're first making our films the, is those films suck. And I don't mean this in the sense that we're being self-effacing or modest. I mean it in the sense that it sucks. <laughs> right. It really doesn't work. In a similar way, all zero carbon plans right now, admit it, suck. So for example, Monsters, Inc. Brilliant movie, you have to watch it. So uh, it's a movie about some monsters and then there's this little girl who gets stuck in their world and we're like, ah, little girl stuck in our world. But it didn't start out that way at all. It started out being about a dude, an accountant who's like 30 years old and he starts seeing monsters in our world. Very different, very different. <laughs> the premise of the film was monsters are real and they scare kids for a living. That stayed the same, but the details, the characters, a lot of plot points changed many times before the movie finally found its soul. The premise of the race to zero carbon is that we need to get off fossil fuels. We need to do it in style. Um, you know, we want a great quality of life for ourselves and 10 billion of our closest friends in perpetuity. Simple premise, but the details kind of fuzzy. So how do we hammer out those details and can we do it the same way they do the Pixar process? Being candid doesn't mean trying to kill ideas. It means exploring and discovering, feeling out the idea for the parts that uh, work for you, the parts that bug you, for everything about that idea. It's tough to be candid, especially when there's so much on the line. Some people aren't open to being candid. You have to watch out for that. But if we all succeed in being candid, it can lead to that genius plan that everyone loves. That's the goal. <laughs>